former undercover cops of reddit, what is the craziest thing you had to do to not blow your cover? I must have been 15 when one day the doorbell rang and I opened the door to two guys looking very much like real tough street guys. They showed me their badges and asked for my mum or dad. Turned out that they wanted to stake out a public playground behind our garden that was used by some drug dealers for their mules. People drinking large amounts of water and puking up little packages with some substance in it. There was a multi-story bank near the playground, but the bank didn't want anything to do with it. So they asked my parents whether they could set up a surveillance team on our terrace for a couple of days. My parents allowed it. And my mum prepared food for the guys all week long. My dad did undercover for several years and talked about a meth head that he hung out with all the time and even babas at her kids when she went out to get high. This went on for several months while they were figuring out who the big dealer was and acquiring warrants. He grew a beard, had a fake it, drove an old shitty car. Eventually they got warrants to bust a bunch of people in the drug ring and he actually was part of the SWAT team at the time and was part of the group that smashed indoors and arrested her and a bunch of others in the area. He had to wear a balaclava to protect his identity when with the SWAT team. He said it was actually really difficult because he had become an important part of those kids lives and was kind of attached to them and now they had no mother and had to be taken to child protective services. I never got to ask him more questions about this before he passed, but I have no idea how he balanced this crazy second life and then came home and acted like a normal husband and father in our family. I know a guy who often went undercover as a junkie. He was committed. He'd stop showering for a while before a gig and piss on his tracksuit before going into work. He was so good that he managed to get the same dealer convicted twice in the space of a year and they never suspected he was the rat. He had multiple police records under different names too. City cop here. We don't do too much long term undercover, but our general orders have a policy covering use of drugs on duty in certain circumstances. While it doesn't specify that we can do drugs, it states that if we consume them, we have to immediately respond to our department's health clinic for documentation and treatment. I once was the gardener for a cop who worked undercover in the sex trade to identify pimp slash traffickers and extract underage kids. She retired early due to mental health issues likely stemming from drug use during her time undercover. To keep cover she would do the drugs that were being offered slash used. Of course things spiraled out of control for her and suddenly she's on permanent pay leave and she stays in the house most days hiding from the world. So for her, what she did to keep cover is offer up her sanity in exchange for some successful arrests. My father worked fornces. He told me about an incident where his guys set up a sting to bust some drug suppliers who turned out to be local police setting up their own sting. They figured it out when they tried to bust each other. Edit, grandma. My cousin was an undercover ATF agent. Anyway, they were trying to bust some guys for illegal alcohol distribution and were building a rapport by going undercover. My cousin doesn't take his ATF badge with him when he's undercover because if anyone ever saw it, he could get shot. Anyway, some hot-headed black and white cops came over and started harassing them. My cousin couldn't blow his cover, but pretty soon the police started getting physical and they beat crap out of my cousin and the guys he is trying to get evidence from. They take them all into the police station only to find out that my cousin is ATF. My cousin was pissed because cops aren't supposed to beat people up. He is currently filing a lawsuit against that police department. I have gone undercover online to infiltrate child pornography rings. Nothing too intense, but I had to interact with suspects online slash over phone who were fucking sick in the head and act like it was not the most vile shit in the world. Not very exciting, but a guy that worked with me was going to this biker bar frequently to get in with a gang, drug related. He didn't want to get hammered and do something stupid, so he would take his beers into the bathroom with him dump out half and fill it with water. As a former correctional officer, we had a situation where a major police department planted a cop in the prison to get information on a guy they believed was orchestrating hits from inside the prison. The warden knew and I knew, by accident, but not a single other co knew, nor did any of the staff, including medical, and that's the way they wanted it. He went through a receiving. He was categorized and placed. It was wild. 
He was there for a week, got the info they needed, and got him out. It didn't become public knowledge that he was undercover until after I had left, and it was a long while after as they were making a case. That was a surreal moment. My friend used to be a state trooper. She told me about how she used to have to go undercover as a hooker to try to catch Johns. She didn't do so well, though. She was far too polite, so they all knew something was up. Informal law enforcement. I did a few deployments in a surveillance capacity to Sydney at targets in restaurants and bars to overhear conversations. Sorry to disappoint, but I didn't do anything particularly crazy. Criminals just tend to talk about the same shit that everyone else talks about, women and sports. Publicly they tend not to talk too much about their criminal activities, but you can still glean information from places they say they went to and people they say they know. Read Good Cop, Bad War if you want some gnarly undercover stories. Not a former undercover cop, but I have a second hand story about an undercover cop. So, this guy appears, or of nowhere, and befriends a relative of mine who was involved in illegal stuff. Dude was very friendly and just down to party. Had money. Paid for. Product. Everything. Would drop in on parties and even allegedly hooked up with hoes. Then he placed an order much larger than before. Few weeks later, relative of mine is arrested and is currently in prison. Craziest thing an undercover cop had to do to keep their cover? Buy drugs and fuck bitches. My friend who was an undercover cop said that multiple times he had to let himself be arrested to not blow his cover. Like when a sting was going down or whatever instead of being like hey I'm a cop, he would get arrested along with everyone else. One time a homeland security officer came up to my house undercover, flashed his badge and asked if he could come in. Once he was in he pulled out a piece of paper with my neighbor's face on it. He asked if I had seen him around lately, when I asked what he did, and let him know I haven't seen him around, he told me what he was wanted for. Rape, child abuse, drugs, the whole lot. Turns out he raped his stepdaughter and once he found out he was wanted he went back to El Salvador. I thought they only flashed their badges in the movies, but turns out, the shit's real. I worked as a transcriptionist for a while, and I transcribed some tape taken off of body mix of undercover officers working a very notorious domestic terrorism case. It was crazy. They would sound like an absolute backwards hill people lunatic while talking to their marks, then later when talking to the other police officers, would sound all business and like a very professional person. I have a relative that was undercover narcotics. Before he started we had a family meeting explaining that if we saw him out and about we were not to approach him and not to say anything to him and a few other dos and don'ts. He will come to you if he's not undercover at the moment. Former government employees, what is the craziest classified document you've ever seen? Not a cop, but in college I took a few criminal justice classes. Our professor, who I will call Bob, was a cop for 15 or so years and had gone undercover in the 80s for a very long time. Bob was biker as a hobby and he was sent undercover to break up a meth ring in the biker community. Bob arranged to buy some meth from some guy and shortly after the buy the dealer was arrested. The dealer's sister started telling everyone she thought Bob was a cop and some of the other bikers started asking him questions. So day or so after the sister started accusing Bob of being a narc the entire group was at a bar. Bob told a few of the guys to meet him outside in a few minutes and Bob told the sister he had some meth for her and to come outside. When they finally got out there Bob told her where I'm from friends don't call friends knocks. He then beat the shit out of her in front of the entire group. He kicked her as hard as he could between her legs, which while not as painful, if you're a woman, still hurts. Then he said he punched her 4 or 5 times in the face. Hard. He said he didn't wanna do it, but after he did that no one ever accused him of being a cop again. I'm a defense lawyer, not a cop. At least where I live, it is very rare to see actual cops doing undercover work where they are out meeting with targets. Drug cases are almost always done using CIs that are working for them, not officers. The feds do some of that shit with high value targets, organized crime, high level drug traffickers, but that is pretty rare in my experience. I did meet a narcotics guy from NYPD a few years ago while on vacation. We were trading war stories in a bar, and he said that he would do drugs on occasion if it was necessary to prove his bona fides while working undercover. 
he said it got reported as soon as he was out of the situation, documented, and he was taken to the hospital for detox. Sounded legit to me but who knows. He had a badge and looked like a biker. Well since no one is saying anything, I'll just throw out a slightly on topic conversation change. There's a show on Netflix called Deep Undercover. They are all 25 to 30 minute episodes about a real life undercover operation. There's like 50 episodes and some of them are completely insane. I think the craziest one was about the New Orleans Police Department. I highly recommend it. Edit, since so many PPL are wanting to watch this show. Don't get your hopes up for bench watching purposes. They all have the same format so after 7 to 8 episodes it starts to get really repetitive. I usually watch a couple before I get bored, but the first night I watched a shit ton. So I don't want y'all going in with really high expectations and being disappointed lol.